Hello there. Um, this video, we are going to uh, look at how Logic Pro records different takes and um, and how you as a producer will have to deal with with the takes. Uh, I have a song here uh, called Beauty Beyond Compare and it's written and performed by by Leanne Ostapovich and um, and uh, this is one of uh, one of our songs on the album. And uh, as we look at all the tracks, I want you to to notice these uh, little arrows. And when I push it, it uh, it gives me all of these takes that I can look at. And that's for uh, a choir part. The bass also has some some different tracks and uh, some guitar. And so I was going to take a look at at the vocals. And uh, this, these are Leanne's vocals. Um, and you can see that that there are a total of three takes. And this uh, top one right here is called the compilation. And uh, this compilation track is, is uh, going to compile uh, all the tracks, all the parts of the tracks that we choose. So you can see this part of take two all the way up to there and then and then it picks up and and it goes uh, to take three and uh, take three all the way through. Uh, the very first take, well, often the first take is is not something that that we want to use but there's nothing at all used in the first take for this one. Um, but as a producer, you have to kind of listen uh, to this compilation take and make sure that everything there is uh, the way that you want it. And, uh, and it's possible that you could even, you know, take a phrase out of, you know, out of different uh, takes. Like maybe I just want a phrase right here. So I choose that. So now you can see that that part of take one is now chosen, and there are parts of take two that are chosen. Um, I have no idea how that's going to sound, but <coughs> let's take a listen. And you see in the compilation it, it does these crossfades, so that it's a, a seamless uh, change from track to track. <laughs> it kind of caught the end of her vocal. So she was holding a note, and okay, and uh, maybe I don't want to cut off her vocal right at the end like that, so a better starting point might be right about there. Okay, so we listen to that, and then maybe uh, we want to listen to that track again from take two. Okay, so so that's what you do is you listen and listen to, of course, all of the transitions from take to take, and uh, make sure that you have the compilation that that you really want. And once you do, then we need to do a, a technique that's called flatten and merge. So this track right now is the compilation track and basically a compilation of those of those three takes and uh, just take the best parts of it and then when you're ready you want to flatten and merge them and uh, what flatten and merge is going to do is it's basically going to erase all of the parts that you're not using it's going to delete them and so this is a 
a destructive uh, edit. And uh, the destructive edits are a little bit more serious. So we need to make sure that we really want to, you know, flatten and merge. And you should save before and save as after um, you do this kind of a technique. Um, anytime you do a destructive edit, you need to save and save again. And save again if you need to. Just make sure that we're saving lots of copies so that we don't lose a lot of work if we have to start something over. So the more uh, times that you save it, just the better chance you're going to be able to uh, recover, you know, if you have to backtrack at all. So down here we have uh, the flatten and flatten and merge. Um, what I like to do is the flatten and merge, and the flatten and merge is going to uh, erase all the parts, all the takes that we're not using, and, and it's going to uh, merge all the regions together so that it's one audio track. So let's take a look at, at what this does. So I flatten and merge. <coughs> and once I flatten and merge, it should create a whole new audio track. And we take uh, we have to wait a little bit, and the sound waves start popping back up again. And it takes a little while for them all to pop up. Yeah, but they're coming. And that's basically the flatten and merge idea. Um, also, it's important to know that, you know, it's easier to, to do a lot of edits when you just have one single audio track. And so flattening and merging is really important. It's really the very first thing that, that you need to do uh, before you start doing the more serious edits, you know, before you start taking breaths out and before you start lining things up. You really have to flatten and merge. And, um, it's just going to give you better access to the editing tools and you're going to be able to uh, get a lot further. And, and I would say that this is uh, a cleaner mixing. So there you go. Uh, so this is uh, dealing with the takes, making a, a clean compilation, flatten and merge into a new audio track. And there it is. All finished for us.